Okay. All right. Did it? Uh, yeah, let's see. Go. It's recording for okay. All right. Good. Um, you know, I am really excited about this. Uh, if you'll give me about five minutes, I'm going to turn Bob loose tonight. Um, most of you know, I'm a minister, uh, a motivational speaker. DNA is probably also in my blood because no matter what I do, I just feel compelled to leave a call to action some way, um, compelled just to inspire people to change trans transformation in lives is what flips my switch. You know, that said, you know, in spiritual things, I see everything through a life application lens. It, it's just, it's just the way I'm wired. I don't see what a shepherd wrote 3000 years ago, watching sheep. You know, I read David's words um, with the query, how do they apply to us now to life in the 21st century? And it does. And it will change your life if you see it that way. And this applies not just in spiritual things, but in everything. It's a way of looking at life. So what you're going to hear from Bob Oaks tonight will have a lot of life application moments for you if you will look for them. You know, in preparing for this meeting, we met with Bob, had a great time. I've heard Bob speak before, nothing new there, but this time I heard what he said differently. Uh, it, it, it's hard to explain. I, I came away inspired in a way that I have not before. Okay. In just a few more minutes and I'm done. I want to talk about this. To be inspired by a speaker, we think is the speaker's responsibility to inspire us. It's like, okay, inspire me. Well, I'm going to turn that on its end tonight. Uh, it's, it's not all about the speaker. Now it's all on you tonight. Bob or any other speaker uh, may not inspire you if he sounds like Eeyore on Winnie the Pooh. You know, I'm going to inspire you tonight if it doesn't rain. And it probably will. That's not going to inspire anybody, but that is not Bob Oaks. If you think you've heard Bob before, I want you to hear him differently tonight. And the way to do that is to expect something different. Now, if you think with your arms crossed, okay, Oaks, inspire me, you won't be inspired. But if tonight you will have an attitude of expectation, I'm serious here, you will come away hearing his words differently as I did two weeks ago. I experienced this. I know it's real. So I'm putting the responsibility on you. You are responsible, each one of you, to be inspired tonight. If you'll do this, you will hear something you haven't heard before that will teach you something you didn't know before that will enable you to become something you haven't been before. I want to say that again. Let this sink in. You'll hear something you haven't heard before that will teach you something you didn't know before that will enable you to become something you haven't been before. That's your opportunity. And it's all on you because Bob will deliver tonight. I'm excited for you because I know what's in store for you, what you're going to hear. <laughs> Let me show you what this is going to look like. This just says it. Picture's worth a thousand words. So give me just a second. Here we go. Can you see this? Anybody read that? <laughs> we have been laughing at this all day. Um, well, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I just, <laughs> you know, I picture this, this, this monkey going around with a stick, and technically it's a baboon, and that's uh, in the monkey family as opposed to an ape. But anyway, look at this. Take a good look. Now, <laughs> see yourself there. What tonight that Bob says is going to motivate you to do something as seemingly foolish as that baboon taking a stick and whomping a lion on the rump. What's going to do it? That's what you will find out tonight, and that's exciting. 
It's going to be something, something different. Your responsibility is ex to expect different right now. And what are you going to want on the rump with this different thing you're going to hear? Maybe a better way to ask it is, what's the lion in your life? I can tell you one big one. If I ask for a show of hands of everyone on this call right now, most hands would go up if we're honest. And, and I hope we all would be. The question would be, though, do you really believe you can do this to be successful, to change not only your life, but others? And this is probably where we would hear crickets. So you're lying. Look at this picture again. You're lying is the lack of belief in yourself that you can do what Bob is going to show you tonight. You can, you can do it. And it begins with that belief in yourself. That's the seed of change in your life. And I believe that that seed includes God's grace to help you do it. It's so for me, I put it that way. Bob, look at it again. Bob is going to give you the stick tonight. <laughs> it's up to you what you do with it. So get ready. You have a lion to walk. That said, here's Bob Oaks. Welcome, Bob. Well, thank you, Randall. <laughs> that was awesome. Hi, Karen. Hi, everybody. You know, gosh, it's just such an honor and a privilege. And thank you for the invitation to come on here and, and speak. It uh I really appreciate that. And and, and trust me when I when I tell you it is it is an honor and it is a privilege. And um, I appreciate that introduction, Randall, because tonight is not about me. You know, I had the opportunity a couple of weeks ago to to uh, meet with with Randall and Karen, and gosh, we spent a good deal of time because when they invited me on this, invited me to speak, I I, I messaged them and I said, "Well, what does your group need? What what is it? There's there's a lot to this business. You've all heard me speak before. So what is it that you need?" And we had a nice conversation. We had a long conversation. And what I drew from that conversation is um, we're going to go back to basics. And in fact, I'm going to entitle this talk Network Marketing 101. Is that okay? Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, we've, we've, um, when you've been in this business for a while, and I'm, I'm looking at some faces that have been around this industry for many, many, many years myself personally, this is my 33rd year in network marketing. And over that 33 years, you know, I've built substantial organization. Uh, I've had the privilege of coaching and training hundreds, if not thousands of people, you know, worldwide now. And in my, in my coaching, and when I sit down and, and I've done this with a lot of you, and, and you know how it is, we, we, when we can talk one-on-one, -on -one, you know, about what it is you need. What what are your holdbacks? Uh, we have a phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity in Sunrider. You know, Donna was was talking before we went live on the call about what phenomenal products Sunrider has to offer. And boy, you know, that is certainly true. And when I looked at this company and I looked at these products, it, my head just exploded with possibilities. Because a company that has products this good across a broad spectrum, I'm talking about from household to health, nutrition, and so forth. This is tailor-made for, for what it takes to be successful in the network marketing industry. So I'd like to, to start at the beginning. And you know, we're very fortunate. You know, we're, we're gonna be blessed here in a couple of months with, with our first uh, grandchild, our first personally. Now my brothers and sisters have many, many grandchildren, but but my son and his wife, they're, they're going to have their first baby in the uh, early part of December. We're really excited about that. But my sister and my other two brothers, they, they have a whole bunch of kids. And now their kids have had a lot of babies. And I've had the opportunity to, to be around those kids. And it, it kind of takes you back. I want to take you back to a five-year-old. All of you, their grandparents that have been around a five-year-old, you don't need to raise your hand. I, I, know that, I know that there's a bunch of you out there. But here's what I love about children. And here's what I love, particularly in that, in that five-year-old age. When you ask a five-year-old, when you ask a child, 
what do you want to be when you grow up? Isn't that fascinating? You know, now I'm going to be anti-woke here, but you know, the little boys, they're usually running around the carpet, they're rugrats, they've got their fire trucks, they have their police, they may have a helicopter, they have some, you know, maybe a dump truck, you know, and, and, and the little girls, they've got the Barbie dolls and that sort of thing. And that's just amazingly awesome. But when you ask a five-year-old, what do you want to be when you grow up? You know, there are no holdbacks. There are no limitations. They can be at five years old, whatever they want to be. And what happens over time, though, and as I've had the opportunity to coach and train in this industry, what happens is we, we start losing a little bit of that. If you ask a five-year-old, what do you want to be? The sky's the limit. Anything is possible. If you ask someone who's in high school, 16, or maybe someone who just graduated high school, or maybe someone just going into college, you know, they may say, well, I'm going into college. Well, what's your major? Well, I haven't declared yet. I don't know what I want to be. Then what happens is over time, I'm going to call it a dream. We lose that dream. We lose it for a lot of reasons because things get in the way. Maybe it's belief, belief in ourselves. Maybe it's door closing. Maybe that five-year-old wanted to be a professional baseball player because he saw a game on TV or maybe his parents took him to a game. He wants to be a professional baseball player and maybe something happened growing up that now there's physical limitations and that door has closed. You're never going to be a professional with these physical limitations. But I see this so much in this business, in the business of network marketing. It's totally mind-boggling to me. You know, I would recommend, I'm, I'm, I'm reading this book right now. Let's see if you can see it. It's a, Rick Warren, just, this is Rick Warren's new book. And it's called Created to Dream. And I would highly recommend that you, you grab a copy of this. You go to PastorRick.com, that's with two R's, PastorRick.com, get a copy of this dream. Now, Rick talks about the, the dream in there. And, but what's fascinating is, did you know God's a dreamer? Did you know that God is the biggest dreamer you will ever know? Do you know that everything starts with a dream? God started it with it. He dreamed up the universe. He dreamed up you before you were even born, before you were in the womb. You know, the Bible says that you were. he dreamed you up. Now, Rick in this book says in chapter one, he said, you are the most like God when you're dreaming because you were created to dream. And indeed, everything starts with a dream. I can repeat, everything starts with a dream. Let's take, for example, if you want to build a house. Donna just built a beautiful house down there in Tennessee. See pictures of it. I'm looking forward to hopefully having the opportunity to see it to see it uh, in person. But so I, I follow Donna, you know, with a face building. And Donna can tell you probably better than any of us, when you build a house, the first thing you do is you dream it in your head. Right, Donna? You dream it in your head, and then you sit down with an architect. And now it's the architect's job to pull out of all, all of that out of your head so that he can pull this dream out of your head and commit it to paper and draw up a set of plans, a set of plans that can be given to a builder to build that house. So what do we do in network marketing? In this business, we bring dreams out of people. A lot of people have quit dreaming. When I sit down with people and I, and I say, what is their dream? Oftentimes, they've been so beat up by a job, so beat up by student debt, so beat up by, you know, life just getting in the way that they've quit dreaming. And I oftentimes think that it's our job, just like an architect, to, to start to, to gently pull that dream out of people. Now, there's a saying, dream, plan, do. So when you have a dream, you have to plan how you're going to take that dream and make it a reality, and then you have to act on it and do it. You actually have to make that dream happen. So we call it dream plan do. Now, with Sunrider, we have the method. We have something very, very special here with Sunrider because we have the plan and the do at our hands to make the dream of reality. Whether that dream is a working mom that wants to get the kids out of daycare and stay home, 
whether that's somebody in their 50s and 60s that doesn't have a retirement plan, they're looking for a way to supplement their income, whether that is somebody between 20 and 40 married with kids, which is my target market, because at that stage in life, there's so many pressures, but we know they have a dream of one day having a house, one day being able to provide for their family. And when I saw this business, when I saw network marketing, it came at me at a time when my dreams had been shattered. It came at me at a time when, when a lot of you know my story, but for those listening the first time, I'll, I'll briefly mention it. You know, when I saw this, my home was in foreclosure. You know, we were literally two months from getting thrown out in the street. I was in the real estate profession. It was 1991. And we were in a terrible recession. The banks weren't loaning money on real estate. Now, when you're when you're selling real estate for a living and you can't get a loan from a bank, I don't mean you, I mean anybody. Okay. It's a world of hurt because when your clientele is limited to those people with cash, that doesn't make a, a real broad base. So it came, it hit me at that time, and it was tough. And I hope nobody is ever in the position that I was in of of being up at two o'clock in the morning, sitting in your chair in the, in the living room with your head in your hands, just going, Lord, what am I going to do? You know, the credit cards are maxed out. But, but I was approached at that time in life. And I, and I think that God put me in that time, at, at, in that position so that my mind would be open to looking at this, to looking at an opportunity. So, the mind, I want to share this with you. And as you listen to this today, I want you to keep this slide in mind. Because the mind is like a parachute. It functions best when open. Okay. And if you come into this meeting and, and you know, whatever your place is in life, trust me, if you just open your mind and you think about dreaming again, and you think about pulling those dreams down out of the attic, like my mentor Craig Holiday talks about, the dreams are there. Now, so what is your vision? The, the vision for your life. You know, if you had no limitations at all, what would that vision dream be? You know, what, what, where would you be living? What would you be doing? I often say this to people that look at this business. I say, show me your calendar for 10 a.m. on Monday morning. Write that down, 10 a.m. Monday morning. What are you doing? What's your, your calendar? What are you doing? Are you controlling your calendar? Or is that calendar being controlled by somebody else? And I don't want anybody to misunderstand me. I am not putting down jobs because, because we, need, we need jobs to put food on the table and a roof over our head. Now, I've always been an entrepreneur. I'd like to control my own destiny. And I find that most people want to do that today. But what is your dream for your life? If your dream is to spend an hour or two hours on the freeway, go to work, come home from work, you know, God love you. But if your dream is more than that, maybe owning your own home, maybe having some, some income that's above and beyond your personal time, effort, and ability to produce, then this may be for you. So there's a lot of opportunities out there today, particularly on the internet. You know, we are bombarded. Every day that I that I that I get on my computer, it's almost like somebody is pitching something else. Somebody's pitching something. And it's interesting because a lot of it now is they're pitching how-to programs. <laughs> they're not saying this is a good, they're just pitching a, you know, buy my book, you know, uh, buy my program. 90, $97 is going to get you this. And it's amazing, but but this is different because. What I'm going to show you here is something that I've actually done. And again, it's not about me, but I've actually coached and trained hundreds, if not thousands of people around the world as I share this with you. So first of all, I want to ask a question. What is it we do? In fact, um, in the interest of time, I don't have time to do this, but I was going to pause and just kind of go around and say, what is it that you do? And I, when I ask people this, I get all kinds of answers. You know, we're, we are in the health business. We are in the, the whole foods. We are in a lot of things. So, but let me, let me tell you what, you what it is you really do, okay? First and foremost, we are in the e-commerce business, all right? 
We are in the e-commerce business. We facilitate the direct-to-consumer business model where manufacturer manufactures a product and then via dropship, we move those products directly to the consumer. That's a pretty cool deal. The products that we have span about six major multi-billion dollar industries. And this is what is really cool because when you're in this, and I'm gonna talk about this a, a little later, but it's very important that you have the right product mix and that those are consumable products. We simply take, make the sale once because these are consumable products. We eat it up, use it up and buy it again. And this is the key to our business. You know, because if we were in the business of marketing water filters, you know, once you sell a filter, they don't need another one. Now, Maybe a couple of times a year, they might need a replacement cartridge. But how often, for example, does somebody buy an automobile? So if you're in the business of, of a high ticket item, let's say, you make the sale once, you only get paid once. When I was in real estate, the average person sells a house about once every seven years. Well, heck, that sucks if, you're, if your income is based on commissions on the sale of houses. But in our industry, you see, because we have consumable products, when somebody, let's just take our one product, let's just say Fortune Delight, phenomenal product. Talk to the person who invited you here to get more information on that. I drink it every afternoon. In fact, it's, it's in this canister right here. Fortune Delight. I love that product. But guess what? I get it in a box of, of 60 packs. I use those up in a month and I buy another one. So it's eat it up, use it up, buy it again. So you make the sale once and you get paid 12 times a year when they reorder. Now, this is also very important to think about this for a minute because when they reorder, you are able, let's just use a number of 10. Let's just say that, that you start your business and you bring 10 people into your business. Now they order, they order, whatever that is. Well, now next month, what do you do? You do the same thing. You bring in another 10, but the 10 you brought in last month, they reorder. Now guess what happens? Your volume doubles, right? because the people reordered plus the new people, and now you are growing a business month over month. If you understand this one concept that I'm sharing with you right now, you will get on fire. Because when I talk about the dream, what I'm showing you here is how your dream can become a reality through the Sunrider opportunity. And the fourth pillar I call it is mentorship. You're in business for yourself and not by yourself. And see, this is key because if you want to walk through a minefield, by all means, be the second person, right? For those of you that were in the military, because you don't want to make the same mistakes twice. This is why I do this. We can sit down and for everything I'm going to talk about here, we're going to have training over the next year. And I'll, I'll talk about that in, uh, in a little bit. But every facet of this business, we will train on so that you're not going to have to figure this out for yourself. Why would you want to do that? Like I said, 33 years in this business, my mentor has had over 40 years in this business. There's no reason you should have to figure out anything, but just simply plug into a success system. Now, this is where it becomes very interesting. So, so listen up. So I say here, there's no overhead. Well, there's a little bit of overhead. You have to have a computer and a phone, I guess. So if you want to hold me to that, yeah. But we don't have inventory. We have no employees. When we have a business model where it is consumer direct, we don't have to inventory anything. We work for our, from our home. Now, I don't inventory any product. If you want to purchase something, I hook you up directly online. You order it just like Amazon. The manufacturer ships it. So we don't take credit cards. We don't take checks. Heck, I don't even take cash, folks. If you want to order a product, hook you up with the, with the website. Boom, that's it. I don't manufacture anything. We don't ship anything. Yet, in my case, a business does millions of dollars a month, and the best part of it is I get paid directly into my bank account with the commissions and bonuses, okay? And you can start the business in about 15 minutes, so you don't have a whole lot of overhead. Now, we're in the flex economy. There's no doubt that you have heard that people today don't want to go to, a, don't, don't want to, go to an office, Heck, the major companies like Amazon and Tesla and some of these, they're, 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 they're threatening people to fire them if they don't come back to work after COVID. 
That's interesting. People want to be able to work from home, especially the generation, and we have the answer to that. So you simply help people start their own business. We train, mentor, and coach them. And Sunrider, our business partner, does all of the heavy listing, lifting. They do the research and development, the raw materials, the manufacturing, the, the packaging, the, the legal, all of that stuff. We got a great partner that does that. Okay. So how do we make money? Now, this is where I want to bring you back to, uh, to your dream. So if you look at this here, this is an apple tree. Do you know that one apple seed, one apple seed is going to produce anywhere from 90 to 440 pounds of apples a year from one seed growing? And this is where I want to emphasize with you Sunrider's number one product. Number one product in Sunrider is the business opportunity. I'm so excited that, that Dr. Chen is, is talking about that. He talked about it at convention. And what did Dr. Chen say at convention? With Sunrider, health is a given because the products are phenomenal. But with our business opportunity, you can achieve the financial goals that you're looking for. So I'm going to lay this out for you a little bit differently than you may have heard of in the past. It's what, what we call the power of four. Okay, first of all, the power of four is based on you, number one, and you doing your $250 a month. Okay, $250 a month. All right, that's you. Now, where does that $250 come from? Simply from switching brands. You can't see this slide very well, but if you go into your workspace uh, on, on the Sunrider website, log in, you can go in there under tools and you can find this document. And I all recommend that I recommend you all have this document, save it, and send this to the people that you're talking to. Because you simply take what the money that you're spending to anyway, and you switch that to Sunrider products. Now, a lot of people do a lot more than 250, some do less. This model is based on four people doing 250. Here we're talking about bath and uh, body, household products, uh, meals and snacks, skincare and makeup, beverages, and nutritional supplements. In all of those products that you're buying anyway, you can simply find $250 a month that you're buying and you switch that to, to Sunrider. And since as a Sunrider IBO, an independent business owner, you have the opportunity to buy these products wholesale instead of retail, so why wouldn't you do that? Okay, so now here's the power of four. This is you and you do your 250, and in this case, you're going to sponsor four people, just four. You know, one of the myths in network marketing is people say you need a lot of people. You need thousands of people to be successful, and that's not really true. Yes, you need a lot of people, but you personally only need to sponsor the right people. My sponsor taught me you're only looking for people that are looking for opportunity. And we're going to talk about this more in the, some of the training we're going to do this year when it comes to, to who are you looking for? How do you find those people? Okay, but in this example, this is just an overview today. These four people, and what do these four people do? You do your 50, your 250, and the four people you sponsor, they do their 250. Now, I want to talk a little bit here about the difference between sponsoring and recruiting. If you're taking notes, there's a big difference between sponsoring and recruiting. When we recruit somebody, we just sign them up. When we sponsor somebody, we take personal, um, we, are, we are personally responsible, okay? So that means that now I'm going to train, mentor, and help them sponsor their four people. Because in this example, see now, you're doing 250, you have four, that's five. That's $1,250 a month simply by having four people. Now, not everybody you talk to will be one of your four. One of these four is somebody who is committed to doing two things. What's number one? They're going to do 250. Number two, they're going to sponsor four people. They become one of your four people. Now, in the process of finding these, you're going to find a lot of others. You're going to find some people that say, you know what, I love the products. These are great, but I'm not interested in the business. No problem. You know, you, you set them up with their website, they buy product. 
you'll find other people that say, yeah, I want to do that. But for whatever, whatever reason, you know, they get busy at work. Maybe self-esteem gets in the way. They're afraid to prospect. They got fear, whatever. They don't do it. I'm not talking about those. So when I say you're going to have four people, you're actually going to have more. But these are only the four people that are committed to being business partners with you. And as these four people sponsor their four, now you have 21 people, which is $5,250 a month at $250 a piece, okay? And just to carry it out one step forward, further, when the four sponsor four is 16, now you have 85 people in your business doing $21,250 a month. Is that exciting? So I hope all of you embrace this concept because here we are with 85 people in our business and we've only brought in four. Now, again, you're gonna have more than that because you have the people that say no to the business, you have the customers, you have the people that say they're gonna do it and they don't. I'm just talking about four that say they're gonna do it and they actually do it. This is the foundation of how we build. So when you do this four, and I'm not gonna carry it on to another level because the numbers get too big and then you run out of belief. So, so but when you carry this on, let me ask you a question. Which is easier, sponsoring four people that are committed to get to, to, get to $21,250 a month or go out and sell product and get enough customers to where you're doing 21,000 a month? How long would it take to get that many customers? Now, there's a big difference between an IBO, an independent business owner that joins you as one of the four and a customer. A customer joins you for a specific reason. They want to solve usually some kind of a health issue, okay? I want to sleep better, therefore I'm going to buy this product. I want to have more energy, I'm going to buy this product. I want to lose weight, I'm going to buy this product. I want a cleaner house, I'm going to buy this product. I want, you know, I want my hair to look better, I'm going to buy this product, skincare, so forth. But that's a customer. They are product driven, usually to one or two specific products in the 400 SKUs that we have. But when somebody joins you as an IBO and they become committed to one of these four, what happens here? They're gonna go do their own research. You know, Dottie and, and Donna and some of the people, Randall and Kim, they put on phenomenal weekly events talking about product. Now, if I have somebody who's committed, I don't have to, to, to coax them to be on that webinar. They're just gonna go be there because this is part of having a business, they're responsible for a certain amount of education, they're gonna go learn about the products. If I have a customer that's only interested in a certain segment of product, are they gonna be on that webinar? Maybe, maybe not, okay? You see the difference? There's a big point in training people up. Now, the other thing I wanna point out is our compensation plan. You know, one of the beautiful things about Sunrider is we have probably, the best or right up there at the top of the compensation plans in the entire industry. It's what I love about Sunrider. And one of the things that, that, that we have is called check match. And when you build the business the way I'm talking about, the way our compensation plan is actually designed, it can become very lucrative for you. Because starting at the ACE elite level, when you start taking on leadership, you get compensated for leadership. We talk about being in business for yourself and not by yourself. Guess what? It's very lucrative for us to help you build your business. Now, if you look here, um, uh, you have up from 10% all the way up to 30. I got to move this. This thing is in my way. All the way up to 30%. Check match. How would you like to have someone in your, that you've helped build their business where they're making 10,000 a month and let's just say you're at the Hero Royal level, they're making 10,000 and, and Sunrider is gonna give you a bonus of 2,200 on top of that. That is pretty awesome. And see at the leadership level, at the leadership level, our, um, a huge percentage of our income is based on this check match. So we have a lot of incentive to help you be successful. And this is why network marketing is so powerful. 
You know, it's amazing to me when somebody says that um, uh, the company needs to change the compensation plan to give new people more money. You know, when somebody says that, honestly, all it means is that they know very little or nothing about network marketing because that's not how you build a network marketing company. When people start, start building the business and they start hitting the ranks where you're getting the bonuses for doing what it takes to build this business, and that is coaching, training, and bringing other people along with you, then you get the real compensation, okay? So what's interesting here is let's just say in this model that you work 10 hours a week building your business. Now, this is what we base the business on, two hours a day, five days a week, 10 hours a week building the business because most people build it in their spare time. But let me show you what happens here. When I show you this, each and every one of you should get real excited about doing business this way. Because guess what? Those 85 people, based on the four people that you brought in and the four that they, they bring in, the four, that's 85 people doing 10 hours. That's 850 hours a week. Okay? Well, folks, there's 168 hours in a week if you don't sleep and you work all week. But this is called duplication. So here, here with this method of doing business, your business is being duplicated when you bring in people that have leadership potential. I'm talking about the four. That's 850 hours a week your business is being duplicated. Now go back to your dream. We talked about that dream in the beginning. Can you see your dream becoming a reality when your business is being duplicated 850 hours a week? How amazing is this? So this is why we need to learn the real power of network marketing, and that is the business opportunity. So just to summarize, we use e-commerce in a global partnership with a legacy fulfillment company, that's Sunrider. It's direct to consumer utilizing dropship. I love that because we don't have to have all of the expense and overhead of a warehouse. It's what I call a subscription model where it's not transactional income. That is, eat it up, use it up, buy it again, okay? How many subscriptions do you have on your phone that just bill your credit card every month? Well, don't confuse this because this is product that you're gonna use every single month. We leverage these products sold around the world and with Sunrider's uh, new compensation, new, new, they just changed compensation, but you can, you can be brand new in the business and internationally sponsored. That's huge, folks. And best of all, it only takes 15 minutes to get started, and it's $29.95 to get started, and that includes your, your e-commerce website. Okay? So with the power of four, we work with you, train, coach, and teach you how to find and select your four business leaders. Okay? We work with you and help you to build that team. So what's next? Well, you want to get with your upline. We're going to be doing a lot of coaching and training this year. Craig Holiday is joining me on this. You're going to be, you guys to be excited to do that. We're going to be we're going to be going back to the basics. The first four of the eight steps. One is on prospecting. Number two is presenting. Number three is follow up, and number four is getting a new business owner started correctly. We're going back to the basics. I'm going to hold the other four till later so that you can tune in and we're gonna be coaching on those. So just wanted to share that with you and talk about, um, that is the essence of our business. I hope, that, I hope that you can see yourself, you know, with those four. One thing I wanna talk about, how do you find those four? There's four questions and, and we'll get into this more uh, in, in the prospecting training on this. But when we talk about those four, there's four questions. If, if you're taking notes, you want to write this down. When you meet with someone, again, it's all about them. Step number one is you have to take your eyes off yourself. See, people get in this business because they want to make money or they want better health. Okay, it's all about them. But when you actually start building this business, and this is what this was my transformation. When you actually start building this business, it comes from when you take your eyes off yourself and you focus on someone else. 
You know, Rick Warren wrote in his book, uh, the, one, of the, one of the best-selling books in the entire world, The Purpose Driven Life. First sentence in that book is, it's not about you. So when you start looking at other people, when I sponsor someone, their dream becomes my dream. Whatever that is. If, if, if they get in the business because they need new tires for their car, that's my dream. You know, when I got in this business, I told my sponsor, I told Craig, he said, he said, what's your dream? I said, I need $3,000 a month. That's my house payment. My house was in foreclosure. I said, if you can help me make $3,000 a month, so my, my never again have to worry about my family being put out on the street, I'll do whatever it takes. Just get out of my way, consider it done. But show me the blueprint. That's set, that, you know, that, that set of plans that I can be the contractor and start sawing and pounding nails, okay? But I needed the plan and we did that. So when we lay this out, Craig asked me four questions the night that I met him. And he didn't even show me this plan. He just asked me some questions. Now, I didn't, I didn't need to really see it because I knew that Craig was amazingly successful in this business. But question number one is, where are you at? Tell me where you're at. And this is critical that you do this. Where are you at? Because when you sit down with someone, it's not about you. I can sit down with people all day long. I can show them pictures about, you know, cars and houses, and, this, and it means nothing. But when I sit down with somebody, I say, tell me where you're at. Where are you at today? I was in a world of hurt. And Craig asked me a second question. He said, where would you like to be? I said, I would like to be in a position where I never again had to worry about putting food on the table and a house for my family. I wanted that, secure, that security. Where are you at? Where would you like to be? And here, number three is critical. And that is, do you have a way of doing that? Where would you like to be? I'd like to have 3,000 a month passive income. Do you have a way of doing that? No, I do not. Do you have a way to do that doing what you're doing? That's number three. And number four is, if I could, would you? If I could show you a way where we could make that happen working together, would you be interested? If the answer to that question is yes, then they may be one of your four. And it depends on how strongly that is. Now, you guys know, you know, I've been in Sunrider for a while. When I joined Sunrider, I started talking about this, and I'll never forget, we have a leader in Sunrider. His name is Aaron Schuster. Phenomenal guy. Know Aaron real well. I've traveled to Israel with him. Personal friends of ours. And um, the first time I went to Israel, I taught this. And the people in Israel, particularly the ladies in Israel, are pretty strong. Well, let me rephrase that. They're very strong, okay? And they said to me in Israel, this won't work. I said, give it a shot. Get back to me in six months. Trust me, it works. It works all over the world. Been there, done that. You don't just run around showing people your business. People have to qualify to see your business. Unless they qualify, okay, all, you're, all you are is a salesperson. Do you want to be a salesperson or a consultant? I want to be a consultant. I want to help people get what they want. So when I went to Israel, they said this won't work. Okay. Went back six months later, guess what? They were doing it. And the number one leader in Israel, and the, and the second, the two biggest leaders in Israel today, one is an overachiever, and I'll tell you what she does. She will not show you the business unless you qualify. If you say to her, I'd like to see your business, if they, she, word gets around, she says, I understand you have a business, she says, yeah, would you like to see it? She says, I don't know if you qualify. You need to sit down first and I have to qualify you to see if, to see if, if you fit into this business. Otherwise, I can't show it to you. <laughs> and she actually goes through an interviewing process based around those four questions. Well, guess what? She's the number one distributor in Israel. Now, I've been coaching and, and working with Aaron Schuster for a long time, and guess who's the number one sponsor? Aaron Schuster, okay? And I'm not bragging. 
I'm just saying that, that these methods that I'm sharing with you work. You see, if we run around talking to people about, you know, this, this has got all of this in it, you know, and it's great, you should drink it and blah, 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 blah. We're salespeople and people don't want to be sold. When we sit down with someone and say, how can I help you? Tell me where you're at. Tell me where you'd like to be. Do you have a way of getting there? And if I knew how you could do it, would you be interested? Now, we have a method by which we can help them and grow the business. And the other secret about this business is when you sponsor someone, they are going to do exactly what you did. It's duplicatable. So if we get on the same page and we teach people the right way, it's going to get duplicated over and over and over again, and you will have a sustainable business. Where businesses fall apart is when people get into a selling mode. The way you get into a selling mode is you ask yourself a question, who's talking more? If I'm talking more, I'm selling. If I'm asking questions and listening, I'm consulting. So when people join you, they join you in this business because they don't know it all. They don't know how to do it. Otherwise, they'd already be doing it. And this is how you become a leader. So I hope that helps. I'm going to um, I'll be more than happy to take some questions for those. Of, I'm going to just stop my recording here so that uh, I can send this out as a training. And guys, I got to tell you again, such a pleasure, uh, honor having the opportunity to share. I hope that helps. Um, I hope I've been able to condense it into, into something that's that'll work for you.